On the morning of the 4th, Wilson's Cavalry arrives in this area here. Arrives in this area here. The 3rd Indiana Cavalry crosses, scatters the Confederate, uh, the Confederate pickets, and the Union is in possession of this crossing here. Um, having secured the crossing, Wilson is looking pretty good about this time. Uh, at the same time, down at, uh, at uh, Ely's Ford, uh, about five miles below us, the uh, cavalry of Merritt's division is also seizing that crossing. The engineers arrive almost immediately, and they're going to throw five bridges. Two bridges here, uh, they're located, if you look at your map on map five, they're just, uh, uh, they're, they're just about opposite where I'm looking, but uh, in that direction. There, one is going to be a boat, one is going to be a canvas. Of anything that they use in the army, the things that have changed the least since Caesar's time are Ponton bridges. Ponton is a, if I, I use Ponton rather than pontoon because I got corrected by uh, Maxwell Taylor once. He's an engineer, and naturally engineers are more sophisticated than infantrymen, and they call them Pontons and Pontoneers. So they are going to have two bridges here, we're going to have but two at Ely's, and there's going to have one at Copper Mine Ford, a Copper uh, Copper Mine Ford, down below Ely's before you get to the confluence of the Rapidan and Rappahannock, where the they're going to throw one bridge, and that, that and that's where the wagon trains are supposed to cross. Warren's men will. Uh, We'll start arriving here about 7 in the morning and begin crossing here on the two bridges. It will take them roughly six hours to cross Warren's command, uh, which totals a little less than 30,000 men. Now, this is where Meade will, Meade will be here with his staff watching. Uh, Grant will arrive about 10 uh, a.m. on the morning, and he's going to cross here, and Grant will remain here on the evening of the 4th. So Grant remains in this area on the evening of, until uh, the evening, uh, excuse me, till the morning of the 5th. He's going to leave here on the morning of the 5th about, by, about 10 a.m. to proceed to uh, Wilderness Tavern. But this time he already knows his uh, dream of, uh, uh, his, his, if he had a dream of being to Spotsylvania Courthouse with his vanguard by the end of the march on the 4th, it's turned into a, a pile of words beginning in S and ending in T. And he's not got, these men have not got beyond Wilderness Tavern, which is down there where three uh, where the uh, where the orange uh, ro orange turnpike uh, and the German Germana turnpike come together, uh, th then uh, it'll be uh, uh, it'll be uh, seven it'll be around eight o'clock at night on the fourth before the last of Sedgwick's men across uh, here, and they're going to be not in this area here. Burnside's men will not cross here until the 5th uh, of, of the 5th. Burnside will leave one division here, Ferrero's Black Division. Uh, they'll remain here to guard the bridges here, and uh, they'll have their first atrocities if, they get, if you're looking for atrocities, because some uh, uh, men from the 9th Virginia Cavalry are going to kill, uh, uh, murder uh, three of the black troops of uh, of, of uh, Ferrero's division. Ferrero's uh, division is the only uh, black troops in the Army of the Potomac. Now, as they cross it here, there's several things that are interesting to talk about. With them here is uh, Major uh, 
Major Ward Lehman, uh, 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 Grant, one of Grant's staff officers here, and he is going to speculate. I wonder if every man here would be wearing a white bazaard around his arm. How many of them will be around in six weeks? In the next six weeks, Grant is going to lose either by mustering out of two-year men or casualties almost 60,000 men of the 119,000 men who are going to cross this river uh, 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 at, at this time. Uh, so it's, they don't know they're in for uh, some bloody roar ahead. They also um, you know, speculate that there's a guy that looks like a a minister here. He's dressed rather severe black, and they think that Grant has evidently brought his undertaker with him. The undertaker is Cadwallader, is um, uh, is um, is um, uh, Congressman Morseburn. Congressman Morseburn is Grant's uh, patron in the army. He represents the uh, L.U. Washburn, is one of the founders of the Republican Party in Illinois. He represents the Galena area where Grant entered service with, and they, specul and they speculate he must be Grant's personal undertaker along. Again, speculating uh, with a 